10. Having to call 911 for medical help obviously is scary enough as it is. And now first responders are often arriving in full hazmat suits with masks over their faces. And as Katie Brace reports, that can be traumatic both for the first responder and for the patient. A paramedic and EMT in full protective gear. What was different on this call? The first responders knew their patient suffered from COVID-19. Cushnet Fire Chief Kevin Gallagher posted the photo on Facebook. Here it is um, emotional at a level that uh, I didn't anticipate. The chief shared the picture because even though his town doesn't have a field tent or temporary hospital, he wants folks to know that coronavirus is everywhere. I think it was important for folks, particularly in our community of 10,000, to understand that uh, the coronavirus is here. Two weeks ago, the town learned of its first case of COVID-19. There are now 16 cases. Over the weekend was the first time the fire and EMS department received a call to transport a known coronavirus patient to the hospital. A humbling uh, and quite scary for the provider also, the EMT, the paramedic to uh, don that equipment and to uh, knowingly go into uh, into a home. The look from the patient was unforgettable. There was a, a look of fear in their eye um, simply because they they know they have a virus, they, they're starting to get ill and they're going off to the hospital. The chief made sure with the patient's spouse it was okay to share this photo. He wrote on Facebook, the spouse said, people are not taking this seriously, I don't understand it. Social distancing is, um, starting to get tiring for a lot of people. Being home from school is proving to be <clears throat> a burden for, for many families being out of work is uh, horrific. But there's a reason for that. The chief emphasizes the post is not about his crew. It's about reminding people about a real threat that they can help curb. Katie Brace, WBZ News. A group of 